Hello and welcome to Home Studies e-learning for first. Let's have a look at what we're going to learn in this lesson. Any guesses? That's right, countable and uncountable nouns. Now you might think this is easy, however, there are some tricky countable and uncountable nouns. So hopefully at the end of this lesson, you will have learned something new. Let's begin. In this picture here, we can see three apples. One, two, three. We can clearly count the apples, therefore these are countable nouns. However, in this picture, we have some milk. Now, this is uncountable because milk is a liquid. However, we could say a glass of milk or a jug of milk. A glass of milk and a jug of milk would be countable because they are containers and we can count the containers. Therefore, milk is uncountable because it's a liquid. A jug of milk is countable it's a container and a glass of milk is also countable because it's a container. Here is a picture of a traditional English breakfast. It's very tasty but unhealthy. On the plate we have a tomato, countable, an egg, countable, six mushrooms, countable, two sausages, countable, two rashers of bacon, countable, two slices of toast, countable, two hash browns, countable, and a slice of black pudding, countable. However, we also have some beans. Now we would say some because we do not sit and count every single bean on the plate. So here, beans are uncountable. Now, I am going to show you a picture and you will have one minute to write down as many nouns as you can. Here's the picture. You have one minute. You may begin. OK, that's it. Time's up. We will come back to this picture later on during the lesson. Now, I am going to show you some nouns which are countable and I would like you to change them from the singular form into their plural form. The words are as follows. Mouse, knife, leaf, sheep, spoon, and fox. You have approximately 20 seconds to change those singular nouns into plural nouns. You may begin. Okay, let's have a look at the answers. So, spoon becomes spoons, knife, knives, fox, foxes, leaf, leaves, mouse, mice. Now be careful of the spellings and look at the word mouse, this becomes mice. We do not say three mouses, we would say three mice. A little bit like the nursery rhyme, the three blind mice. Now, let's have a look at sheep. 
so here we have a picture of a sheep so the sheep if he could speak he would say I am a sheep and in the second picture we have five sheep they would say we are sheep so the word is the same do not add an s on the end it's not sheeps we have a sheep we have five sheep now uncountable nouns substances for example paper grass gold cotton and silver are uncountable nouns also liquids like milk they are uncountable remember the picture of a jug of milk that would be countable but milk as a liquid on its own is an uncountable noun also coffee oil juice water alcohol they are uncountable nouns also gases are uncountable so things like nitrogen hydrogen oxygen air and smoke are uncountable now let's have a look at some uncountable nouns that most students think are countable music it's uncountable also money is uncountable furniture and traffic they are also uncountable nouns so be very careful with these let's have a look at some common mistakes and you might learn something new here here we have a picture of some luggage or some baggage we will not say luggages or baggages we could say a piece of luggage or two pieces of baggage but we do not say luggages or baggages so therefore baggage it's uncountable and luggage is uncountable also accommodation is uncountable homework is uncountable so do not say I have lots of homeworks to do no you have a lot of homework to do also advice is uncountable information be careful with this one luggage as I said previously now look at this picture can you think of a noun maybe that is in this picture hmm evidence evidence is an uncountable noun do not say evidences also research is uncountable progress news and knowledge these are common mistakes that people make lots of people think they are countable nouns however they are uncountable so remember that for the exam do not make these silly mistakes now let's have a look at nouns that are both countable and uncountable so for example I need to buy three onions countable I have got to chop some onion for the soup uncountable what time is it uncountable I have been to America three times countable I would like a glass of water countable remember it's a container we can count them however if we said there is water leaking through the roof it's uncountable because water is a liquid and finally I have made a cake or a birthday cake for my sister countable and I would like some more cake is uncountable now let's have a look at the picture from earlier on let's have a look at what nouns we can see in this picture a beach ball countable two pairs of flippers countable two hats countable two snorkels countable two masks countable a bag countable water remember it's a liquid therefore it's an uncountable noun sand 
Sand is an uncountable noun because, because we cannot physically count every single grain of sand on the beach. Also, clouds, okay? You could say cloud, okay, or clouds. So, uncountable or countable, depending on the context. Also, two reflections, countable. Two sunbeds, countable. And finally, two people, countable. Hopefully, you have learned something new in this lesson, okay? Now, it's time for your test. Good luck.